I'm going to go over triangles. Triangles are used to make uh, parallel lines or perpendicular lines using your parallel straight edge. There are three types. There is your 30, 60 degree triangle, your 45 degree triangle, and your adjustable triangle where you can adjust various angles. Uh, triangles are made in different materials. These are all made in um, acrylic. They are also, they can be made out of metal. For drafting and drawing, I prefer to use my acrylic. To me, it just feels better. It just feels more natural when I use my lead um, holder and glide the lead across the acrylic uh, triangle. It just feels better. Never ever use your triangle, especially your acrylic ones, as a cutting guide. This would damage your acrylic edge, as well as your parallel rule, that is the edge is also made out of acrylic. Don't use your X-Acto blade, your cutting knife on that edge, as well as this acrylic. If you're gonna use your knife, always use a metal edge, such as this. With that said, Let's go to the board and draw some lines with triangles. Okay, I'm gonna draw some lines uh, using triangles. Um, before I begin, I just wanna show you what I use. These are, these are my two uh, triangles that I use the most. This is obviously the 30, 60, and this is the 45, 45. The edge has an ink edge here. I'm just trying to get it closer to the camera, so which, which means that you can use a a mechanical ink pen with this triangle. Um, this is just a flat edge, which is fine too for you know for drafting. So e either one, um, whether you want to use a triangle with an ink edge or a flat edge, which is much more traditional for um, for lead, is fine. But these are my go-to. Uh, this is a obviously a much bigger triangle. This is just so much harder to move on the paper. This is a, a lot more nimble when I use these triangles. And then I'll go over this guy in a minute. So obviously you can draw vertical lines with a triangle, right? I think I started, it. I have a video on that one. And this, of course, you can draw a 30 degree line. This is 30 degrees, as well as this is 60 degrees long. And moving on to the 45, you have this 45 degrees long. So this is 45. You can also use, use the combination of these two as well. So for example, this line, 30 plus 45, you get 75. This 15. So you, you can kind of cover all of this range here. And this is zero, obviously. And of course, you can draw perpen parallel lines, right? With the triangle. really it. Okay, let's talk about this adjustable triangle. So let's say you have a very specific angle that you need to dial in and you and that angle cannot be produced by these two triangles, the 36 and 45, right? We just talked about this. Let's say that angle, let's make believe it's 22 degrees. Um, and you can, there's a little magnifying glass. I'm trying to get it close to the camera. I'm sure you guys can see it. Right, that is 20, so it was 20, that's 30, so that's 22 degrees right there. 
So this angle it's at 22 degrees. So what is perpendicular to 22 degrees? This exact over here that is 68 between 60 and 70 so that is 68 degrees so this is 68 degrees because this is 90 right 22 and 68 goes 90 so that's that's how you would do this. so so that's how you use this adjustable triangle so that's it